How's it going you guys? Steven from Break Free Homestead. Today we are working on our L2501. This is a 2015 with just shy of 300 hours. The hour meter has stopped counting and the RPM gauge does not work. So I believe it to be this. Uh, the part number is TC415-34650. I'll put that down in the description down below. See if I can get a link for it. Guys, all you're gonna need for this replacement is the part, a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter, a couple extensions, and that's it. Super simple. Don't take this to your mechanic to do. You can do it yourself. Took me about 10 minutes with recording, so you got this. If this information helps you guys out at all, I'd appreciate it if you drop down below, hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel as we grow and we'd love to have you. As you can see, the tachometer is not working. Obviously we're not gonna sit here see the Dowers gauge isn't working, but raise it up, it doesn't work, so. We just lifted our loader up, so we'll get it out of the way. We'll have access to the lower part of this. You could take it off, uh, but I think this is a much simpler option. So first thing, you're gonna get a 12 millimeter. If you have an extension that'll make it a little bit easier, it's gonna be one and two, you're gonna remove those. Now we're just gonna take the guard off. And now let me show you the hours cable right here is gonna be going up into your um, housing up here so and it comes right down here next thing you're going to do is use a 12 millimeter socket and remove this uh, this bolt here it holds the uh, housing on so let's get that out of the way Now we're just gonna rotate around to the other side. It's gonna be the same process. You just have uh, one extra bolt right there, so. And that's gonna be under right here. Set that to the side. And then you have the second housing uh, for your steering wheel right there. Go ahead and get that off. Now you're gonna move on to the panel over here and you're gonna remove this one bolt up here and then there's gonna be one down here. These are both 12. All right, now you can easily dislodge this, uh, pulls right back and you see there's one, two, and then there's three and four on the bottom. So you just have to manipulate this around. Uh, I'm sure you'll see here, maybe the longer extension you have that might make it a little bit easier. So let's get to this. All right, for the bottom right, since you have the throttle lever here, it's kind of hard to uh, manipulate it. We just went straight through, so now it is nice and free. I'm not sure if I already said, but those are 10 millimeters, um, and the, your your uh, instrument panel is now free. All right, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see in there. Lean this back up here, and that cable right there is what we're gonna replace. So you just unscrew it from there, and then uh, feed the new wire through. There's gonna be two sides to this cable. Um, one is slotted, and that's gonna go on the bottom. It also has an O-ring, so make sure you don't lose that. And this is going to be to your tack. Let's get it in. So this is the old one and where it came down right here. And the new one is fed down this way. Follow it 
to the same direction. You're gonna come over here and it's gonna come through this little hole. And then around these zip ties, I think most of these you can undo. If you don't have enough room, yeah, you can just loosen them if you don't have enough room. Slide the new one through or replace it with new zip ties. And then you're gonna come down here. Uh, you might be able to do it by hand or uh, use a plier to slightly loosen it. So let's get that done. I guess moment of truth, we'll see if this thing uh, fixed our issue. All right, that's it. This is fixed. I think we paid just about $30 for that part. Um, we got ours from Essex, but I'll try to drop a link down below. Uh, you can get it anywhere, really, or your, your local tractor store. But yeah, just go back. If you have any issues, uh, put those bolts back in. It should be all set. Thank you, guys. Hey, if this helps you guys out at all, please go down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. What happens to these cables are, uh, you know, it's a just a metal wire spinning in there and randomly throughout it'll be different on everybody's but uh it basically just breaks it shears off i'm assuming because it's like rusty and it eventually breaks but yeah it'll appear fine but it's if your cave if your hours are not working it's this so just go straight to this 